Okay. Got my coffee. I think I'm going to post another Vogue Beauty Secrets video where I actually go in detail with my makeup. But for today's look, we're gonna do a glowy summer look because that's my favorite type of makeup to do because it's light, it's natural, and it feels good on the skin. Priming with the Milk Hydro Grip. I hope all of you guys are doing well. Summer break just started for me. I graduated two days ago, which felt surreal, but also dreamlike in some way because it did not feel like it was the end of high school. And I feel like I'm still processing that. Like it's very weird to think that I have graduated high school. I got my freaking diploma, like what is life? It's just a very interesting experience because for some people it processes quickly and for me it does, like has not processed at all. So basically with the Hydro Grip, you have to wait for it to tack up. So while I let it tack up, I'm gonna do my brows. I think y'all know how I do my brows. Very easy, very simple. I feel like I have a lot of things going on within the next week or so, but I'm just really trying to take things one at a time and i wanted to film today because i'm actually doing stuff i'm not just sitting in my room as per usual so i thought let's make some content out of this but today i think i'm gonna walk to marshall city because i just need a couple more things to buy for my trip to cancun which i have not told you guys about yet which is exciting and also nerve-wracking, I have not flown in what feels like forever. Um, so I'm going to Cancun with a bunch of my family friends and I'm so, so, so excited because I'm just like ready for warm weather. I'm just ready to chillax by a pool and just really absorb the summer vibes, if you know what I mean. I'm going in with the Kosas concealer. This is my favorite concealer. Yeah, so I'm still in the midst of like packing and figuring out what I want to wear and like what makeup I need to bring, what skincare I need to bring. But what I'm most worried about is that like the security is gonna take away my makeup. Like I'm terrified about that. I'm gonna spray a bit of setting spray. This is the best setting spray, no joke. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole trip because when have I ever done something outside of my house? The answer would be absolutely never. So I just decided I should vlog because, you know, it's fun. It's fun content. And I feel like I really need to switch up my content as well because I feel I've been doing the cinematography thing for a while, but I want to go back into like happy editing and like also be able to include graphics and, you know, make the video cute and feel like summer. I feel like with my cinematography videos and I don't even know, like film-based videos, I think it's very hard to incorporate talking portions and it's hard to film those types of videos because it's a lot of setting up a shot and making sure everything looks good there's a lot of preparation into making those types of videos good and in the end the videos turn out to be like eight minutes which i don't know about you guys but i definitely prefer like a 20 minute like talking video over like an eight minute you know film video so that's why i decided that i want to change up my content going into july to see how you guys are feeling about it and how you know my overall audience reacts to this type of change okay so i set my face I will actually give you guys all the products in my next video. I'm gonna keep my makeup routine on a down low right now, but I'm gonna finish up my face and I'll catch you later.
here's what we're eating on this delightful morning. I have scrambled eggs and ketchup and also overnight oats with mango. Oh no, 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 no. Where's the tissue? Yeah, I think I'm gonna say taste test. Cheers. Mmm, that's pretty good. Scrambled eggs. Cheers. Also good. Okay, it's currently 8.09. I am gonna watch the newest episode of Drag Race All Stars because Marshalls does not open till 10. And if you're wondering who I'm rooting for this season, I really want either Shay or Trinity to win. I know it's basic, I'm sorry, but those are my two favorite drag queens of all time. So yeah, if you didn't know, I do watch Drag Race. I do love the show. I've been watching it since like late middle school, early high school. And yeah, I'm gonna watch this. It's an hour, so that's gonna pass some time. See you later. Okay, I just got dressed. Here's today's outfit of the day. I'm going for very much so casual vibes, walking vibes, but always spicing things up with jewelry. That's like my number one rule. So my tank and my shorts are both from Brandy. My earrings, this one's from Princess Polly. This one I think is from Adina's Jewels, I'm not sure. And then this one I just got from the tattoo shop that I recently got my thirds pierced at. And also this is a guest necklace. I got it from Mercari for like probably five or seven bucks. It was really cheap. And if you like really stand from afar, it looks like it's the Tiffany necklace. But honestly, I just like it because it's a nice chunky necklace and it adds a lot of texture to any outfit. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. I just finished watching Drag Race as well. I really like my vibe today. It's giving put together slay. I am on route to Marshall's right now. Hopefully you did not see my address. Um, I have my fanny pack with me from Lulu and I also added my very famous big fat sunglasses. And I'm just gonna be listening to my July playlist. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. I make a playlist every month for my Spotify. And this playlist is like seven hours long. So that'll be enough for the walk there. It's probably gonna be like 30 minutes. It's like 9.30 right now. And the weather is quite beautiful out. So yeah. I just finished up at Marshall's. I was in there for like an hour and I bought like a little too much. I spent a little too much and I didn't film a lot because there were a lot of like middle-aged women there that I don't really get along with. So I didn't want to film, but I ended up not getting the shorts or the dress because I was thinking to myself like, oh, how many times are you going to wear this after vacation? And my answer was none. So therefore I did not buy them. But did I also buy unnecessary trinkets? Yes. Is that my fault? Yeah, whatever. Um, I have to make the walk home. My only problem with that is the fact that I bought a Tarani syrup for my coffee and the bottle's metal and it's like literally dragging down a like a majority of the bag. And it this bag is at least like 12 pounds. I can carry 12 pounds, but I have to walk 30 minutes home with these 12 pounds and I'm not feeling it, but I think I'm gonna have to because I don't have a ride whatsoever. So yeah, I would give you a haul. It's just that there are too many cars here and I think it's already weird that I'm talking to my phone horizontally. So I'm gonna try and not freak out these people. But yeah, I'm gonna walk back and I'll give you a haul. Just gonna get them toasted. Okay, step one of making my delicious Italian salad with vegan ham is mini cucumbers. We're gonna dice them. Cucumbers add crunch and freshness to the salad if you will. I'm gonna check back up on the ham after dicing these. 
to flip them around and get it toasted on the other side. Okay, back to dicing these. Okay, cucumber is chopped. I'm gonna chop up some lettuce. Again, I like to slice everything as thin as possible. I think that's the best way to eat a salad, but if you like a whole leaf in your salad, you can do that as well. I dumped the lettuce all in here. Personally, I'm an Italian dressing gal, so I'm gonna add that, but this also would work really well with Caesar dressing or any creamy dressing, I guess. Today I'm using the Ken Steakhouse Zesty Italian. I added in some parm. I don't know if I said that already. I'm gonna do a nice circle of drizzle. Okay. Throwing the ham into the bowl. I'm gonna give it one last final stir. And that is my summer salad. You should totally try it. It's a very chopped salad, but obviously, if you like your salad a different way, cut it a different way. And that is lunch. Marshall's Hall. So the weight of this bag is probably the weight of a newborn toddler. I'd say it's like, 14, 15 pounds, honestly. And the culprit of that is this. Bruh. I wanted Tarani syrup for the longest time because that's what all the at-home baristas use for sweetener. And most of them find it at World Market. And in New York, from what I know, there aren't any, to my knowledge. In Florida, when I went, there were a couple, but they don't have any. So I was like, Ugh, I'm never gonna get Tarani syrup. But what do you know, at Marshall's, they have like 60,000 flavors. I think I just stopped thinking. And I didn't think about the fact that I'd have to walk two or three miles home with this glass bottle of vanilla syrup, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Um, my coffee is going to be delicious. I'm going to run a Starbucks now, so. Along the lines of like drinks, I got this sweet matcha cafe style blend. Honestly, when I was at Marshall's, before I was at Marshall's, I was so desperate for a cup of matcha. And the matcha that I usually buy is from this um, Japanese supermarket. And that Japanese supermarket is like two hour drive away from my house. So I decided to fold and get the most unauthentic matcha in this entire planet. But I'm gonna try it out in like two seconds after I am done with this haul. Another drink item. This was not necessary, but I just wanted it. And I felt like it was a justified price as well. It's this Hydro Flow triple wall vacuum insulated cup. I feel like any guy or girl who owns this or in between is the most put together person on this planet. And I like the white. I was really debating on getting this like rainbow stone one, but I was like white, it's a color you can't really regret. So I'm very excited for this. This is the one thing I went in for and actually bought. This is a travel, hanger makeup case and I thought it'd be really good because first of all it comes with shampoo and body wash bottles so I'll be bringing my own and then there's more space for skincare and makeup and also it has a hook so I can just hang this in the bathroom um, and it's really really compact so for my trip to Cancun I'm gonna put everything in here these I bought because I needed a new pack these are biodegradable um, face razors, beauty razors. I need these for my eyebrows. It's a whatever product, honestly. Okay, and then these two things together. I got the Mesh Bar Soap Savers from Precision Beauty. I love these colors. And also these are really, really useful. I like them. And then I got my favorite like body care brand. It's called A La Maison de Provence. I've only found this in stores or online. I really, really do like this brand. I have a deodorant from them and it's my favorite thing in the world. They're very clean and it's imported from France. I got the coconut one and it comes in four. So yes. Okay, next, I don't know why I bought this. This was kind of like an impulse buy because it was on sale. But anytime I see the word melatonin, my brain goes buy it because melatonin is honestly one of my most favorite supplements. Hands up, I'm sorry. I do have to control myself when I do take melatonin though because sometimes I give myself a heavy dosage because I can't sleep. Sorry, I can't sleep. 
but I think I'm mainly getting these for the airplane and for vacation. And another thing that really intrigued me was that this is pectin and plant-based. Most gummies, if you didn't know, contain gelatin and that is an animal-based product. I stay away from them as much as possible. It's kind of, it's a hard thing to avoid because sometimes it's in things you're like totally unaware of. But this one is gelatin free, which I really, really appreciate. I got lip balms. These are from the brand Lip Green. I've never seen these before. It's four for five dollars. I needed a new lip balm because I've been relying on my Burt's Bees one for quite a while and I'm kind of sick of it because it doesn't really moisturize my lips. And I saw these and I thought they were really cute and fun and fresh. This one's green tea and aloe. Ooh, I like, it's like a lipstick. This is really, really good. And it's cruelty free and vegan. And then I got a new brush. This is a wet brush. I need a new brush because I've been using my current brush that I got from Marshalls for a little too long to the point where I am concerned for my well being and my health. So I wanted to get a new brush. Always get your brushes from Marshalls. They're cheap, they're affordable, and they have like any style you want. They also carry wet brush, which is a really infamous brand in my opinion. I got this really pretty color. It's like their gemstone collection. They also have like Disney princess ones, which I thought was like really cute. And then last but not least, another thing I went in for was um, pimple patches. I don't know if these are good or if they work. These are the Crumb Shop Cotton Candy Skin Hydrocolloid Acne Patches. Um, I like the fact that they're a bit larger, but yeah, that was my haul. I spent and bought a little more than I needed to, but I'm really happy with everything. I'm content with my purchases. And yeah, I'm gonna make my matcha right now. I'm gonna wash my cup and I'll show you how I make this matcha. Okay, matcha taste test time. Again, we're using the one I got from Marshalls. Oh, it already looks unauthentic. You know your matcha is not authentic when it be looking like this green Shrek color. Um, okay. I made a mistake purchasing this. This was not my brightest moment. Okay, two and a half teaspoons of this sweet matcha going in the cup. Okay, and I'm getting one fourth a cup of warm water. Okay, this is my fourth cup of warm water going in. Today we'll be using like a bartender spoon. I guess I was just that desperate for a matcha that I just bought the whitest matcha on this planet. Okay, I got ice. I have my vanilla almond milk from Trader Joe's. Any form of milk works. I'm gonna mix it. Let's taste test. Bruh, it tastes like sweet milk. I mean, it's not terrible. It just tastes like sweet stuff. So like not much really to complain about, but it's just, it's not authentic matcha. Again, why the hell I bought matcha from Marshalls is beyond my knowledge. Like, I know better. I'm gonna edit the video that you're watching right now. I'm sorry if I'm a little overexposed. The sun just came in through the skylight. But yeah, this is my It Girl Cup. Bro, that's just not hitting. Okay, hi, I'm back in my room. I finished my matcha, now I'm drinking water. I thought I'd do a proper outro because I don't want to be on the photo booth. But that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this very basic but somewhat exciting day in my life. Um, I also wanted to address the situation with Roe v. Wade. I never thought that I'd be here speaking on my YouTube channel about something that should be a basic human rights. I do not like to impose my thoughts onto others. I'm just here expressing my thoughts as I have this channel for a reason. Um, I'm really upset. Um, to say the least. It's really sad that we're just reversing our path and the fact that we are again suppressing marginalized female communities. I will put some resources on the screen now and also link them down below because this is such a trivial time for women and I really don't agree with what's going on. I'm just really upset by the Supreme Court's decision it's sad it's really sad but i don't want to leave this video on a bad note expect more videos coming soon the next video should be the Vogue beauty secrets video on how to get this face how to get the bronze sunny glam look and yeah i will see you in the next one